Hello, hello, shalom. Welcome to Nellyville Reviews Drag Race. This is episode seven. Let's get right into it. So at the top of the episode, the girls are walking in. Maya is feeling pretty good about last week's lip sync because, you know, she won. She showed off her skills. Some of the girls are giving her props. But Maya might be a little too happy about lip syncing. At the end of the day, girl, yeah, you won the lip sync, but you were lip syncing because you were in the bottom. So, you know, calm down. Keep it cute. And Morphine is like, okay, yeah, girl, you got skills, but like, don't think you're just going to lip sync your way to the top. Do you really think Rue's going to give the crown to a girl who just lip sync her way through the competition? Like, be all the way for real. Step it up, girl. In other bitter business, Dawn, it feels a little bit bitter about Q taking the win over her last week. You know, baby, just be happy for people. I get it, it's a competition, but like Q, you know well deserved last week and cute like i said cute it was time but then don gets gathered because magami calls her buzz lightyear which i would have never thought of that but as soon as magami called her buzz lightyear now that's all i can see when she's wearing that outfit so while the girls are kicking i know that safira is a little still in her head she's trying to pull herself out of it i think by the end of this episode she does pull herself you know out of this this inner saboteur moment that she's going through but safira come on girl we're rooting for you it is a new day in the work room and for whatever what reason morphine is just now noticing that maya has braces like girl where have you been all this time yeah she's had braces this whole time morphine wake up girl RuPaul enters the workroom and tells the girl that this is the week of the musical, or rusical, should I say. I love musicals, I love theater, I love drama, I love all these things. Most of the girls are excited about it. The musical is going to be based off of The Sound of Music, aka The Sound of Rusic. And, you know, look, anytime RuPaul can use his name in, in, a, in a pun, it's going to be done on RuPaul's Drag Race. You hear me? I love the sound of music. I remember watching it um, in maybe middle school for the first time, maybe elementary school, but I've watched it. It's been a while since I've seen it, but that is one of my favorite musicals. A lot of the girls are like, yay, excited, but then you later find out they don't, they don't even, they never, they've never seen it. They barely know what it is. Like, Okay, come on, fake excitement. But if there's anybody who's very excited, it's Plasma. This is her element. This is her moment. You know, this is a theater, musical, musical theater dog. Plasma can hardly contain herself. She's about to burst out of her skin. And she was so excited. And she goes on and on talking about, oh, this is my favorite musical. And when I was in high school, my grandma did this. And it's like... Girl, I know you're excited, but like reel it in a little bit, reel it in. But most of the girls are just excited to have another acting challenge. But then there's some girls like Dawn, who's like, good Lord, really a musical? Dawn's just really not feeling it. Rue then tells the girls that they get to pick their own parts, which is one of the highlights of Drag Race, watching the girls fight over what role they want and Rue tells them that they're gonna work with Andy Shankman. If you don't know who that is, look it up. I barely know myself. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to tell you, but he's very prestigious in, in this world. Go look it up. So when it gets to the part where the girls are picking their roles, it gets pretty interesting because you have several girls who want the same roles. It gets kind of catty. It gets juicy. It gets great TV. So we first start out with Plasma and Morphine both want the role of Mariah, which is the lead role. Morphine wants to think be outside of the box. She wants to, you know, really, you know, go big and not be in the background. I understand that. And then, of course, Plasma wants the leading role because, hello, this is her favorite musical and she's the theater doll. Plain Jane immediately goes for one of the mean girl roles because she says that she's been falsely uh, accused and labeled of being the mean girl of this competition. Girl... Okay, anyway, just say you typecasted yourself and move on. Megami and Q want the same role of the Baroness, and they end up rock, paper, scissoring for it, and Q wins. 
Megami looked so sad. I'm like, look, Q, you did all this and you got the role, baby, you better bring it. So then Megami was like, okay, fine, I'll play Mother uh, Superior. And then Morphine was like, I don't know, girl, that role kind of screams Sephira. And Megami, I guess, was just so already defeated by losing the cube that she just immediately was like, okay, you can have it. Like, Megami just goes ahead and takes the schnitzel roll, and she just kind of seems, you know, a little sad. You know, the two rolls that she picked at first, somebody else got, you know. But you know what? Look, there's no such thing as small parts, only small actors. You know what I'm saying? Take the role that you get and make it work. So even though Morphine suggests Sophia to play Mother Superior, Sophia is like, I kind of want to be the lead role too. So like, what's good? So as you remember, there's already two girls that want the lead role, Plasma and Morphine. So the three of them are like, well, I should be the lead role. And Bibbidi Bobby the Boo, when they going back and forth, so then Plasma puts her foot down and is like, Y'all not getting this lead role. It's mine. What's good? And Sephira was like, mm -hmm, okay. And then cut to, you see Sephira in the talking head. And she's like, remember the last time I gave a role to a girl? And you see how that worked out. Talking about Mirage. And we saw, we remember how that worked out. <sighs> Plus, the only thing about fighting so hard for a role, you have no one to blame but yourself if things go wrong. Like, you, you... I don't think that you should just fold over and give up the role that you really, really want. This is a competition. You got to go for your first instinct for what you think is going to make you win. But baby, be careful fighting like that because if you fall on your face, this, you going to really look dumb. Y'all know what I'm saying? So after Plasma gets the role, you could tell she immediately is like, damn, like, did I fight too hard? Like, am I, you know? And then I noticed that Plasma thanks Sophia for giving up the role, but maybe they just didn't show it, but we didn't see her thank Morphine, like, unless they just didn't show it in the edit, but, you know, I, I just thought that was odd, interesting. As the girls are rehearsing for their role, studying their lines, Plasma is still just going on and on about how just, girl, we get it, you love this musical, this is your moment. And Dawn has really just had it up to here with her. She's just like, okay, girl, please shut up. Meanwhile, on the other side of the room, you have uh, you have Sophia really mothering the girls like she does. Morphine is down in the dumps, but she didn't really get the role that she wanted. You know, it's just kind of like, girl, you got the role that you got. It's going to be good. And Morphine kind of comes around like, you good, shawty, like, you can't always get what you want. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. It's fine. Like, what's good? Then here comes Plain Jane, Q, and Tsunami who have the roles of the mean girls. And they decided to do a little method acting, uh, rehearsal practicing. They're, they're going around. They decided they want to get into character. So they're going around throwing shade at the girls being mean. Uh, Kit Kat and, and Kiki and, and do it like... <sighs> It was, it was cute, but like, God, I'm trying to rehearse. Like, y'all all up in my bubble. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sit down somewhere. We then find out that apparently Tsunami has a little bit of a crush on playing Jane. And you can tell. You, you can tell. I don't know if the feeling is mutual. By the end of the episode, I, I kind of feel like the feeling is mutual. Especially, there was like a moment in Untucked where the girls were kind of questioning Tsunami about her runway, which we're going to talk about that. And, you know, Plain Jane normally can't wait to chime in with the shade. And Plain Jane was just over there sipping a little cocktail, not saying nothing. I was like, hmm, is it because, you know, what, what's going on? So we got some we got some little love button up in here, you know what I'm saying? And then here goes Plasma. Plasma then realizes that she has lines throughout the whole show. Oh, wow. This is a big part. I have a lot of lines. This is a musical. So, I gotta learn all these songs. All this. 
when you sat up here and was fighting for the role, baby, you 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 didn't look at the script. You just said lead and, and went for it. No need of you being all scared now, so you better sit there and get the ring and get get the rehearsing and practicing. Face all cracked. Girl, it is now time for the rehearsals. And you know, I still notice. Even at this time, Megami still looks so sad. You can tell she's such a sensitive soul. She really is. And I'm like, oh, gosh, Megami, just pull it together, girl. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Well, as the girls are rehearsing, the assistant comes in. And it is none other than Melissa McCarthy, which was a great surprise. She came in. She was really funny. And then she had this really, like, touching speech, like, words of encouragement for the girls. And she praised drag queens. And she talked about what drag meant to her and how it helped her find her way in this industry and how she got started and it was just, it was really fun. It was it was a nice, pleasant surprise to see her, and all the girls were really touched. And Morphine was especially touched by Melissa McCarthy, and was like, you know what? You right, girl. It's no such thing as a small role. She said, let me just sit here and eat my cheese because for whatever what reason, Melissa was throwing like little cheese things at the girls. I, I don't know. Like, is it because musicals are cheesy or like? I don't know. It was it was it was interesting. Not to mention the way Morphine was eating the cheese. It was I was like, why is she eating it like that? But anyways, it was just so funny. But now all jokes aside, Melissa actually she made me cry. Like it was very touching. While Plasma is doing her solo rehearsal. The girls, aka Plain Jane, starts like ragging, has like little snickering and stuff on the sidelines, which it did look, it did look a little stiff. It did look a little funny. I, I'm not gonna hold you, and you know, snickering on the sidelines it makes for good TV. And cut to like later on in the uncut episode, Megami actually gets called out for whatever she was saying on the sidelines. We saw a little piece of it in the main episode, but you really see how much Megami was actually going in on some of the girls. You know, she was she was kind of bitter boots. She was she was bitter. She lost two of her roles. She was sad. She was in her feelings. You know, it makes sense when you're in your feelings. Hurt people hurt people. But anyways, they 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 call her out. Tsunami and Megami kind of had a moment in Untucked, but they ended up making up, and it was like a nice little sweet tender moment. But yeah, the girls were over there being shady, and they got called out. Then you have Maya, the flipping queen, the queen of flips. She was really struggling with choreo, which this seems to be a trend, especially on Drag Race. Girls who can dance really well, like with the freestyle, and just kind of get on stage, and they really know how to perform. Normally, they have a hard time with choreographed, organized dances, and Maya is no exception. And even though Maya was struggling, she was she was trying. She was focused. She wasn't getting down on herself. She her spirits were staying up. And I kind of felt like Adam was being Adam, you know the 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 guy that they were working with, the choreographer. Like I I feel like he was being a little rude. To Maya and maybe even some of the other girls I feel like he was being like it I get it like be hard on the girls like you know step it up but I feel like he was some of the comments he said I was like oh that that didn't sit right with me and Q Adam was reading Q down boots and I'm just like chill out dude then here you go, Plain Jane. Plain Jane couldn't keep up with the choreography either. I was like, oh lord. The silver lining in Plain Jane and Q struggling to learn the choreography is um, it finally put Megami in good spirits. That's who she was over there about the most. And at least Megami started to feel better. I have a note here that says Don is annoying. I'm sorry. I don't remember why I put that. Um, I had a similar. I had a similar note about Nymphia last week um but this week it seems Don was it, it, it's just something about her personality is a little bit off-putting I think it's just kind of her TV persona that gets on my nerves because 
I follow her on on Twitter, maybe Instagram or something. But like her, her, like when I say on socials and stuff, she doesn't seem that annoying. I actually kind of quite enjoy her. But something about her on TV, especially this episode, I, I was like, girl, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Just kidding. <laughs> Megami. She started to feel better, but I, I needed more confidence. I need the confidence, baby. Where is the confidence? Find it. Find it quickly. It is challenge day, and the girls into the workroom crunk. They was ready. That was like, yes, let's do this. And Don takes this as the perfect opportunity to remind Sephira that you don't have your immunity anymore, girl. Baby, Don, shut Baby. Anybody? Even though Don tried to bring up last week's news, it it seems like Safira is at peace with the decisions that she's made and she's ready to bring it. So bring it. While the girls are doing their makeup, we find out that Plain Jane used to do ballroom dancing. She used to be a ballroom dancer starting when she was six or seven years old and she did it for about nine years she ended up quitting because in high school you know you know how high school kids are bullies and and someone was like that's gay so plain jane didn't want to do it anymore and she kind of felt kind of regrets quitting but we know how it is so then we get to just before the show comes on and rupaul comes man ru Go look up Rue, dog. I ain't even gonna put the picture in here because I don't feel like going to get it. But man, Rue was out here. My rules, Rue was in there, y'all. Y'all already, y'all already. Then I know it's not Michelle besides wearing a top that was similar to the one Geneva wore last week that she went home in. Like, I don't know if that was planned or if that was shade or homage or what that was, but I, that kind of tickled me. That was funny. Overall, I liked this rusical. Was this the best rusical that the show has ever put on? No, but I I think it's one of the best. It's not the best. I think the one from last season might have been the, I want to say that was the best one. I I would have to go back and watch all of the rusicals to really know for sure. Obviously, last season, that one is obviously very fresh in my mind but this one was it was it was pretty it was pretty good it certainly was not the worst a few questions though um was Maya supposed to be covered up or was that an accident because there was a point in in the performance where her nun veil thing it, it was covering her head and I was like girl just like get it at your face she was dancing and this was all covered up. I, I don't, was that on purpose or what was going on? Um, Another question. Safira, was that her voice that she was lip syncing to? Like the all the girls were lip syncing, but it sounded like they were lip syncing to, you know, like previously recorded tracks by like other professional singers. But Safira, that sounded like that was her actual voice. But why would she be the only one? Is it because she's an opera singer? I was confused. Plasma, her being the lead, she did a, she did a pretty good job. Um, was I blown away like everybody else was? Blown? Not really, but maybe because I kind of had my reservations about. Maybe because she kind of annoyed me. Maybe I was judging her really hard. I mean, look, she did great, but also her look was taking me out of the fantasy. That haircut, I know that she was. They were trying to keep her true to character. Um, I don't know. If, I, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I guess they didn't pick their outfits. I guess they were dressed for this by production. That wig did nothing for her. I know it was supposed to stay true to Maria, aka Mariah, you know, from the Sound of Music. But I, um, no, the makeup was awful. She looked awful. I, I. Now, she did all make You was responsible for that, baby. I don't know what you... Because you don't normally look like that. I don't know what you did on this day. So then, during the, the performance, was it was it Q who had the, the long scarf? Was that supposed to get tangled up around uh, Tsunami and Morphine? Was that on purpose? 
and it was looping around on the floor and it looked like the girls were about to fall over it looked like some of the pit girl was trying to get it i don't know if that was supposed to be a part of the full performance it looked like it was a mess up and the safira is looking like girl you about to fall so i i don't know baby clean get it together we a little sloppy tighten it up you know what i'm saying and for somebody who doesn't like musicals don did a pretty good job i ain't even mad at her safira ate I would have gave the win to Safira. I'm I'm so sorry. And plus, off the, the with the runway, I know it, they it kind of more it fits more of the storyline to give it to Plasma. And Plasma did really do good. And her runway was okay, but and, and she did have a a big healthy healthy role. Like you know, I understand. Whatever. Plain Jane did well. I'm not mad. Tsunami, um, baby girl tried. She tried, you know, but it was something missing. Nymphia was solid, um, to, to me. Megami was solid to me. Uh, Q, Q did a great job. Q really pulled it off. She pulled it together. She, she did, she did good. I was, I, okay. Maya, she is another one. She tried, but she just, mm -mm, I'm so sorry. And like I said, Plasma, you know, 9 out of 10, it was just, it didn't, it, I don't know, it didn't take me there. It was a great, solid 9 out of 10, though. Now we get to the runway, yay, 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 and the theme is, I can buy myself flowers. Yes, Miley Cyrus, I can buy myself flowers. And how great timing this was for this episode, because obviously they filmed this a long time ago. They didn't know this girl was going to win a Grammy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ruby knowing, Ruby knowing. Now, after I watched the runways, I, I thought I was like, Tsunami, bye. I just knew Tsunami was going to go home. I I just knew that girl was going to go home. So let's go through and let's quickly take a little look at the looks. So, okay, first up, we have Dawn. Didn't like it. Nope, don't like those colors together. I saw the visions of what, I saw the vision for what she was going for. It didn't take me there. I'm so sorry. Um, Megami, baby. I, oh, Lord have mercy. You know, and Megami tried to do a little reveal. And she should have held it up a little longer. I, I don't know. It just... It, it, it's not my style. I gotta say that. Um, Maya. It's okay. I wish you... You don't always gotta cover up your neck. You know what I'm saying? You ain't always gotta do that. I don't know. I don't know. Because you're not hiding a booby bib. I don't know, girl. Um, and then, here we go with morphine. Girl! No, she did not come out here with this Amazon... Ross dress for less outfit. No. Then we have Nymphia. Nymphia, I like this very artsy, very uh, editorial look that we got from Nymphia. It's, it's really, you know, it's not my favorite, but it, but it's one. It's one of the. It's one of the better ones. It's it's good. I like. It's cool. Um, I like it. I like it more in this photograph than I did on the runway. Oh, I did. I like it. I don't even remember. It's fine, I guess. Plain Jane. No. No. Plasma. I think I like it better in the photograph. This photograph here. Um, she's she's cute. She's cute. Now, Q, this is really great. This is this is really cool. I like this kind of weird, like, alien-esque bug kind of silhouette. It's very interesting silhouette. It, it reminds me of something that, like, Evie Otley would wear. <sighs> My absolute, absolute favorite. Safira. This picture is not doing this justice. This outfit here... This, oh, it was beautiful. And it was massive. I, I don't know how she packed it. it but it, this was all that. And then my least favorite, I don't know how she's still here. But Tsunami, 
you don't even have flowers. There's no floral. There's no nothing. And she says she's supposed to be an upside down bouquet. I don't like. It gave me an attitude. So that's all I'm going to say. So then we get to the critiques. In the top, you had Plasma, Sapphira, and Q. In the bottom, you had Morphe, Maya, and Megami. How uh, Homegirl, Tsunami, was not in the bottom. She was safe. I don't understand. I don't understand. It must have been so bad that RuPaul and them must have forgot. I don't, I don't understand. Megami had thoughts about Q's choreography, saying that any of them could have walked back and forth with a rug referencing the that stove that stove that i'm saying it was long get tangled up and everybody it was cute yeah um yeah q had more of a slow place pace choreography but she sold it she sold it and you know megami said well, anybody could have did that yeah but she sold it and you didn't sell your part Hurt people, hurt people. I get it, though. It was coming from a place of she was upset, you know. Plasma ended up winning. We already kind of touched on that. Y'all know how I feel about, you know, congratulations, Plasma. Congratulations, girl. So then that leaves Maya and Nagami lip syncing to Flowers, of course, by Miley Cyrus. I predicted that Maya was going to lose, was going to go home. Because I, 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 I was like, this is kind of a slower song. She pro probably can't really do flips to this song. That would be weird. I thought, and Megami so emotional, I just thought, well, excuse the heck out of me because Megami, Megami, Megami did good, but Maya shocked me then then okay, and then it, it was closer to the beginning Maya kicked her shoes off and then and then that's when I was really like oh baby you can't kick your shoes off not on the main stage of the RuPaul's Drag Race baby you can't kick your shoes off but she kicked them off and she gave church she gave she she gave emotion she it, it actually went with what she was doing. And Maya was like, baby, I can do ballads too. I'm not just a fast paced, you know, kicking and flipping and dipping and doing it. Girl, baby, I can do, I can do the slow songs too. And Maya gave what needed to be gave. So Maya survived for another week. And, um, you know, this Megami leaving, this was a hard one to see go. This was a, for for me. I I was like, oh, I kind I felt I felt I did I felt I was like that. I kind of felt this one. We're getting to the point now where you're really starting to feel, you know what I mean? It's this is episode seven. It is getting a little more emotional. You know what I'm saying? But on the plus side, next week is Snatch Game. Oh my god, baby, tune in. This is either going to be so good or it's going to be so bad. And I can't wait to see what, what the girls are going to do. Y'all know Snatch Game is my favorite episode. That That is, oh, man, I, 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 I can't wait. I can't wait. So, um, anyways, that's all I have to say about this week's episode. Leave in the comment section down below who you think should have went home, who you think should have stayed. What was your favorite app, outfit? Do you like musicals? Do you like theater? Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I can't leave the video. Bye.